Well, people, Merry Christmas. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. It's actually Christmas Eve for me, but I'm saying Merry Christmas because I'm filming it on Christmas Eve, but I'll probably be uploading it on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you'll have a fantastic Christmas. Spend some time with your family, get smashed, and uh, you know, spoil the kiddies and all that. That's what it's all about, really, unless you're religious. Um, but yeah, I certainly ain't. Uh, it's just about a good excuse to spend some time with the family and get smashed for me. Um, <laughs> for this review, uh, I've been into home bargains and I see this and I think it looks really interesting. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a go on Christmas Eve, I think. Um, it's by Innis and Gun Brewery and it's called Islay Whiskey Cask Beer. Uh, it says on the front, it's a Scottish red beer limited edition. Uh, Double matured in Lafraig first malt and pork casks. There's a look at your uh, fancy little box. Yeah, it looks quite interesting. Very posh. You know, it's supposed to be seven quid for one 330 milliliter bottle. That's bloody expensive, isn't it? So uh, I'm going into there expecting this to be good, but I didn't pay seven quid. Oh, no, no. A beer monster bargain hunter <laughs> got it for i think it was two pound fifty in bnm so yeah you can't really complain at that price can you i thought perfect time to try it i did look at the date it goes off in march that's so not got the longest date in the world but yeah to get that much cheaper i don't really care to be honest uh, there's a look at the actual bottle now it's out of the very post looking box Looks all right, doesn't it? Not quite as fancy as the box looked, but we have a little bit of spill on the back. I will read it, it's not too much. Uh, it says, Innocent Gun, brilliant things happen when you, uh, great minds meet, and there is no better proof of this, this than this contents of this bottle. Uh, double matured in two types of cask from our family whiskey making friends on Islay. Lafrag, God knows how you pronounce that. Packing intensity and full flavour for one uncompromising and unforgettable collaboration brew. Sounds very nice, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's only a 330 mil bottle to think it's supposed to be seven quid. <sighs> anyway, thank God I didn't pay that. Let's uh, crack her open and see what she's all about, shall we? See if it's any good. I like the idea of this, you know, mixing a, a red owl uh, and getting the sort of elements of the port and the whiskey could be really in interesting because I like whiskey and I like beer so you know if you like whiskey and you like beer it's gonna sound interesting isn't it <laughs> let's crack her open so what's not interesting the bottle cap considering it's a limited edition uh bottle of this they could have tried a bit harder with that couldn't they could have tried a bit harder come on sort it out seven quid a bottle when I get a bloody plain black bottle cap I want something to sort of you know Remember the beer boy I put it on me little wall or something. Anyway, <laughs> let's chuck in the glass you eat and see what she looks like. See if she's a looker. Let me know if you tried this one, guys. And uh, did you pay seven quid? <laughs> if you did, got it. Um, <laughs> uh, seven point four percent. By the way, I don't think I mentioned that. Seven point four percent. Another strong one. More hairs will be added to the nipple collection again. Uh, looks nice in the glass. It's kind of a chestnut brown colour. As I hold it to me light, I can see a slight reddy highlights coming through. It looks fantastic, but the head is got very compact bubbles in it. Uh, I would say it's sort of a slight, a light tanned head. Let's go for light tanned head. Right, let's get the nose in there and check out the aromas of what's it called again? Uh, Innocent Gun Islay Whiskey Cast Beer. By the way, let me know if anyone knows how to pronounce the name of that whiskey in the comments, because I tried, and I know I failed, and it's a bit of a tit, so correct me. All right, let's check out the aromas. Oh, that's got a big, smoky aroma, that is smoking. Cool. That smells really interesting. It's, it definitely smells more whiskey-y than um, beery, shall we say. <laughs> It's like woody, smoky and woody. Oh, it, sm it smells fantastic, actually. It, the aroma is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. That, that, that is really, really special, the aroma on that. Got a bit of caramel in there as well and like a touch of, I think it's vanilla. 
just a really nice sort of whiskey smell oh, and, and that you can definitely get the wood coming from the cask that, that I brewed this in like like really strong woody smell which might not sound that nice my beer smells like wood mate yeah nah it don't really have a ring to it does it that but yeah it does smell nice you have to say me word for it woody but nice right I'm gonna stop my flirtation and get on with drying this beer hopefully it tastes something like a aroma i'm picking up because that is one of the nicest aromas i've ever smelt i think it smells really nice and it smells a lot better than the sort of standard ones from innocent guns that you pick out up in the supermarkets all year round you know right chuck it down the neck cheers everybody bosh and merry christmas oh. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's pucker. <laughs> that is pucker. The flavour's still going on. I'm still getting like a, a really lingering kind of woody note. It's really strange because it, uh, it's like I've just chomped on a bit of timber or something, which sounds horrible, doesn't it? But it's, <laughs> it's actually bloody lovely, I tell you. Um, wow, that's, that is really complex. It is really flavoursome. And most of all, it's really bloody nice, guys. That is absolutely tremendous stuff. I don't think it'd be for everyone. You've got to like your whiskey because the whiskey's taken over um, most of the beer elements in this one, that's for sure. It's just gone, get the hell out of here, Red Owl. Have some whiskey. But honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. The head's sort of buggered off back to Scotland. But wow. Let's think about the mouthfeel because that one just took me breath away. I'm going to go medium bodied, but it's got like a silky smooth mouthful to it. Oh, that's so nice. That is really nice. I'll tell you what, enough easy drinking for the 7.4% ABV. I mean, it tastes like whiskey, but like not, not a strong whiskey like when you're drinking it neat, you know. It's definitely watered down by the beer, but the flavour has definitely not been watered down. It's just so smoky and woody. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's really different as well. It's not like any other beer I've tried. It's just really top notch, <laughs> really top notch stuff. Um, let's go again. Big flavors. But definitely more on the <laughs> on the whiskey side. Um, I'm not really getting much of that red owl. That perhaps a slight bit of berry, like a fruity note coming through. But then they said it was whiskey cast and pork cast. I don't know much about pork. I'm not really a drinker, but I suspect that's quite fruity. So is it coming from the uh, the red owl, or is it coming from, in fact, the whiskey or the pork? I'm, I'm, I'm presuming the pork. But I don't really know. In fact, now I'm sort of trying. I'm trying to not focus on the the massive, smoky, woody slap round the face that this beer gives you, and I'm trying to think about the more subtle flavours. And I can get like a nice caramel malt, but you've really got to try hard to ignore that woody, smoky flavor because it's very intense and it's very strong uh, uh, it really is um but again yeah, it's like a slight sweet caramel malt and partnered with a little touch of vanilla for me uh, i don't know where that's coming from I, I don't know much about whiskeys perhaps it's coming from the whiskey uh i don't know but i'm definitely getting a little bit of vanilla but it's absolutely lovely it's, it's really nice i mean I don't know if you could call this the best balanced beer in the world. It is a little bit all over the gaff, uh, to be honest, but it tastes nice. And that, that's the most important thing for me. Does it taste nice? Yeah, it tastes lovely. Um, even though it may not be the, 
like the best balanced beer. It's kind of like all over the place, that sort of thing. But you can really taste that woodiness from them barrels. And that's what you want, isn't it? It it does taste like a bit. It does taste like a beer that deserves to be expensive, but I don't think I'd pay seven quid for it. If I was loaded, I would. I, I wouldn't care, would I? I'd just be like, yeah, give me one of them. Seven quid? Yeah, go on, give me two. Give me a pint of it. Yeah, <laughs> fourteen quid a pint. I'll say that, be wouldn't it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, innocent gun. I think you've absolutely smashed it with this one. Um, it's definitely the favourite beer I've tried from Innocent Gun, and I've tried quite a few of them actually. Although not, for, I've not tried one for a while. This is the best one I've tried. I, I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, so I say, was really enjoyed it. It's tremendous. It's absolutely lovely, and I feel like it's a really good beer here for Christmas Eve actually. If I'd have known it was in there, I possibly would have picked, been a little bit of a cheapskate and uh, picked a couple up just to add to sort of people's presence as an extra little thing, you know, because I think it's a really special beer and it's a beer that should be saved for like a big occasion, like Christmas Eve, Christmas, somebody's birthday. I don't think it's saying you've got a session or drink all the time. It's just a nice, I'd call it like a celebratory beer and a very nice one at that. And I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. I think it's lovely. Um, really different experience really enjoyable experience if you've got home bargains near pick one up and try it especially if you like whiskey um if you don't like whiskey you're probably not gonna like it i'm not gonna lie to you but if you do like whiskey i think you'll you will agree that it's very tasty actually um and very woody and smoky that's the main sort of standouts for me thanks for tuning in guys nine out of ten for me smash the like button if you made it this far i'd really appreciate it helps the video gain a bit of traction leave a comment interact with me and uh yeah thanks for all the support all the new subscribers like guys like i'm just overwhelmed with all the love all the comments all the support the views like seriously guys i've never expected to get um where I've got in what about coming on a year and a half I think not even that like one a year and four months or something since I did my first beer review um yeah just thank you so much guys what can I say onwards and upwards next year got a few things in the pipeline and uh perhaps do some lives in that next year as well if you guys are interested uh so getting that sort of interaction i think is something i would like to be able to answer some of your questions and ask you guys questions and stuff like that but it's a bit of a big one for me and my anxiety doing the live thing but it's something i really want to do and just doing the beer reviews took me a long time to switch the camera on and do that first ever beer review which was absolutely shit um, but then sort of slowly in time you get a bit more confident you get a bit more experience and you don't worry so much about putting the camera on uh, I don't really worry too much now about the beer reviews but the going live thing uh, I suppose is a uh, you know it's a bit more for me with the old anxiety uh, but yeah, I reckon I can conquer it. I reckon I can conquer it. Anyway, to the next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.